Hi, my name is Carl, and today I'll be talking to you about Automated Marketing Assistant, uh, which is a set and forget program that is run through CAW. Uh, with the sync of CAW is how we pick up the triggers to send communication to your potential customers and also your existing customers. Of course, you need CAW to run this program. CAW is the Customer Assistant website. Uh, it also runs with SA, which is uh, Subscription Services. Automated Marketing Assistant is a set and forget program. There is no upload, no local printing, no emailing. We do all the work for you through our servers. It is fully automated. We have several products. We have 26 products in all when it comes to AMA, Automated Marketing Assistant, uh, starting with um, canceled letters and emails, estimate no, not sold or estimate follow-up, estimate rejected, your new sale confirmation, your before service email, your after service email, your payment reminder. These can be sent in a letter only, an email only, both if you like, or the fourth option, which is if they have an email on file, we're gonna go ahead and send the communication for you by email. And if not, and only when not, we're gonna go ahead and send the communication by letter, making sure that all the communication is sent to your customers. We do have a drip process for our cancels, our estimate follow-ups, our estimate rejected, uh, which is three additional emails at different time intervals. Um, the before service email, after service email, and payment reminder is an email only. The letters that we sent for you um, consist of first class mail, open-faced envelope, uh, legal sized paper with a perforated bottom so that way they can send back payment uh, with a return envelope. Emails are sent quite a few times a day at 7 o'clock a.m., noon, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 p.m., seven days a week. Uh, letters are sent once a day at 10 a.m., um, five days a week. It is a set and forget program, so we go in and do the setup with you. Setup consists of about two hours. Um, there is a little bit of, of homework that needs to be done. After that, uh, we do a follow-up, which then uh, you can go live and start sending communication to all your customers. So we'll start by talking a little bit about the canceled letters and emails. Uh, the canceled letters and emails are set to the reason why a customer would cancel. It is the whole customer that cancels. Um, with a reason, we send a letter that, that can is consistent with the reason why they would cancel. Also, confirming that they canceled the program uh, with you. Uh, we are getting a 6.9% win back ratio on our letters and emails being sent out to your cancels customers. We do also have the email <clears throat> that's sent for you. The emails look just like the letters, except for they're interactive with um, email browsers so they can reply to that email. The setup is very simple. We choose the status of the customer, usually a six or a seven, which is a cancel call next year and a cancel customer removed. Uh, we then attach the letter that coincides with the reason why they would cancel and those are triggered when the customer is canceled. So we have some win back year to date averages for you. 6.9% uh, on the letters, 5.49% on the emails, uh, for a total of $13.74 for a win back customer on the letters and also a $2.73 on the emails. Uh, the estimate lifetime of customer is $1,500. So if you do send both communication, letters and email, it will cost you less than $17 to win back a customer. Then we go into our estimate follow-up letters. Our estimate follow-up letters are basically a reminder that you have an estimate pending with a customer which is usually a status number two or three, which is a customer gave estimate or gave estimate call customer. That has to be on the customer uh, program and, and job and also on their um, main screen. That is sent out when the customer um, has been called by you and you have done everything you could on your end, then we go ahead and follow up with the letters and or the emails. Um, to remind customers with a dangling carrot that you have an estimate pending with them. We are getting a 14.96% retention on those 
um, on all customers that are just dragging their feet. Um, this kind of reminds them and gives them that incentive to go ahead and sign up with you. Our estimate email is basically the same thing, except for there is a view estimate link on the um, email that will take customers right to the CAW where they'll see that estimate that you have given them so they can go ahead and activate it through CAW. Your estimate rejected is uh, money left on the table in, in, in my opinion. Um, most customers uh, that tell you that they're not going to take your estimate for a reason, uh, basically you just kind of put those to the wayside. What we do is we send them one more communication, you know, and lets them know that, you know, that you're sorry they went with somewhere else or that they're doing it themselves. Um, and a lot of times with that dangling carrot, that special offer, uh, customers do change their minds. Again, with the emails having the, uh, the view estimate and also on the letter, there's a QR code scan. Uh, if they scan it with their smartphone, it does take them to uh, right to the CAW um, site so they can activate those services. We are getting a 6.4% retention on those. Again, that's money left on the table and a 6.4% at a lifetime customer of $1,500 is well worth it. Again, the email just looks like the letter except for it has the view estimate link on it. Uh, for our numbers on that, again, at 14.96% on letters and emails and on your estimate rejected, you have a 6.4% retention. Um, so an average cost for, a sell, for sale is uh, $6.35 on the uh, estimate follow-up and $14.85 on the estimate rejected. Again, money left on the table. Then we go into, once the customer does sign up, we go into a new sale confirmation with or without a prepay offer. So you have a confirmation that just lets the customer know what they bought welcomes them to your team, and then gives them the opportunity to go ahead and sign up with CAW where they can go ahead and prepay for their services with or without a prepay offer. With a prepay offer, it gives them the prepay offer right on the letter or email. And again, with the email and letters, very interactive with CAW with the QR code scan, the website, an offer code, and also the perforated bottom so they can send back a check with their new sale. So once a customer has become active, you have sent them now the new sale confirmation, now it's time to do service. We have a before service email. A before service email can be used as before the service has been uh, performed or it can be used as a call ahead feature. Most people are using it now as a call ahead feature where they're letting the customers know that they're coming out on customers that request to be called prior. Uh, it saves you a lot of time, saves the technicians a lot of time from not making the phone calls and actually sending it automated um, through AMA, uh, the customers do get it on their smartphones uh, prior to you coming out. You can send it the day before or up to 14 days prior to the service being performed. What's nice about the before service email is now it gets into the interaction with CAW and also gets in with your promotions. Uh, your promotions can be then shown to the customer before you're coming out. And I actually have seen some customers sign up with the promotion. Now you're going ahead and doing two services at that, at that time rather than just the one. Um, you do have your referral banner. And if you're set up with referral assistant, the referral assistant banner will also show up on communications like the before service email, the after service email, and the payment reminder, which we'll be talking about in a little bit. Then we go into the after service email. So now you've sent them a before, a call ahead email. Now you're going to do the service, bring back the service, you post that service, and then we send them a after service email. Most popular service that we have with AMA is the after service email. It lets the customers know when you were there, what service was performed, by whom. And the best part about the after service email is that it's very interactive with CAW, with pay your bill, sign up with auto pay, and contact us. The other great part is that it has condition codes. Condition codes are, are conditions that were found while you're doing service on the property. Uh, condition codes can be friendly or FYI condition codes like while we're there, we notice that your grass was dry, please water more often. And then we have condition codes like heavy thatch. Uh, there was heavy thatch found, so we recommend an aeration. Again, it will have the referral pan. And also, it's very interactive that if there are no condition codes, you can then show the promotions that are available to them from your CAW promotion bundle. 
um, where you can set up the promotions to show up for the customers at different time, different times of the year for different customers, and also show up only when there's no condition codes available to them. So we do have some stats um, that I like to talk about the after service email because the after service email is our most popular um, AMA product that we have. So here we have an, an open rate of 61% of all after service emails that are being sent to your customers. Um, about 3.3% are undeliverable and 35.7% are unopened, but at least they're, I'm sure they're looked at. Out of the ones that are looked at and that are open, uh, we have 75% um, <clears throat> are looked at, they're viewed, thank you very much, you know, great that you were here. Um, but then we have 25% of those that are actually clicked on. And some of the links that are clicked on are the tech recommendations. So after the condition codes, you do have a link uh, that says click here to see your technician's recommendations. They click on that link and it takes them into the suggested service that you have from CAW. 21% um, are making payments from it, 8% are contacting you, 5% are managing your account, and 2% are signing up with AutoPay. So if you have anybody that signs up with AutoPay, I think you're doing a pretty good job. So the promotions that are set up are set up in CAW. Um, <clears throat> what's nice about the after service email is that the letter that we have that is consistent with the after service email is called our condition code letter. Our condition code letter is sent to your customers if they don't have an email address, but also only when they have a condition that requires suggested services. It will actually give them the suggested service, the condition code, and also pricing that comes from your price chart and the customer size. If you don't have one or the other, it will not show. It will just simply say, call the office for a quote. But it's basically a nice letter that lets them know that your continued communications with them on their property. So promotions are set up in CAW, and this is the page where it will take your customers if they click on that promotion that's going to be available on the after service email if there's no condition codes. We can also have it where it's gonna show them the condition codes and the promotions if you like. In CAW, through the admin site, the setup is through the bundle promotions. You simply set up your promotions in the sequence that you want your customers to see them, and they will see them exactly the way you want them to. Of course, if they already have that service, it will skip to the next one that's in line. So then we go into our payment reminder. It basically is set to go after X amount of days after a posting of the service, and it just basically shows them what they owe, and it gives them the interactive links to pay for their bill. Um, also has a referral pan. They can also pay for their whole bill. Uh, or set up auto pay at that point as well. If they have any questions, of course, they have the contact you tab to click there as well. Just a simple reminder that they owe you money. Our new product also this year is our RSS feed. Uh, the AMA RSS feed uh, basically lets you know when people open up emails and what emails they opened up and what links they have opened up. Um, it also has a claim feature where you can claim that call. It will add a call in your call log so that way you can follow up with that customer. It will let you know what links they open again, where the location is, what email was sent, what the email looks like, so that way you know exactly what you're talking about when you call the customer. So we also have the dashboard. The dashboard is a great tool so you can see how your communication through AMA is doing with your estimates, your estimate rejected, your confirmation, um, your after service email, how many services have been sold from the after service email, how many people opened them, um, how many cancels came back from getting the communication. Great tool to kind of follow up and see just exactly how your automated marketing assistant products are doing. So we have some testimonials from some uh, customers that have signed up with AMA, Automated Marketing Assistant. Kind of a funny story, um, had set up, set up with me and kind of forgot it because it is a set and forget kind of program and um, had spent about $15 worth of emails and letters and was getting checks back um, from customers and he wasn't sure what he was, uh, what he was opening until he, it finally dawned on him that he, would, that he had set up AMA. Uh, finds out he's, again, spent $15 worth of letters and emails and got about $500 worth of upsells from it. Uh, and he totally forgot that he had to even set it up. So we have um, some stats here for um, one of the companies that's using AMA. 
Um, here they have some cancels. They sent about 206 letters, got 15 customers back, which gives them a 7.28% retention. They spent about $200, but uh, it only cost them about $13.46 to win back a customer. Uh, again, 15 customers times that $1,500 for that lifetime of that customer is well worth $200 that they spent. Uh, they're canceled the emails. Unfortunately, uh, you know, they sent 28 and got zero win backs, um, but at least they're sending communication and, and, um, and I believe this customer did send both. So it was either coming from an email or an actual letter that uh, they won those customers back. The estimate follow-up letters and emails for this particular customer, they sent 28 letters, got eight customers back for 13.79%, spent $56, uh, about $7.11 per win back customer. The estimate email, they sent out nine emails, got two customers back for 22.22%, spent $1.20 to get a customer to sign up. So it cost them 60 cents per customer. Some other stats that we have that are available to you. Another one was a, a great uh, story that someone that was using CAW and just didn't feel that it was working for them um, until they signed up with AMA. Um, last year to date, they had two people sign up online or pay online. And uh, within two days of signing up with AMA, they had sent out 57 emails that morning and 25 people paid online. So from two the whole year to 25 people in three days was, was a great success story for this uh, customer that was you know, using um, CAW, but not to its fullest. So this was Automated Marketing Assistant. If you have any more questions or need a demo, please feel free to contact us.